Manifesto. Haunted Forest around the world. Epping Forest, England. Known for a murder committed by the highwayman Dick Turnham back in 18th century, this forest is nine miles covered with thick trees that have not been cut in over a hundred years. Sightings of ghosts, spirits, and sounds of drum noises of the sea soldiers have been commonly cited, heard, and mentioned. Downhill Forest, India. This forest surrounds the Downhill Victoria Boys School. This is known to be one of the most haunted places in India. The school hallways are said to be filled with footsteps, even when the school is open or closed for holiday. Rumors say there has been multiple murders. Woodhutters have even reported sightings of decapitated boys walking along death road. Death Road, which is a path that stretches between the school and the forest. Elfin Forest, California. Known to be one of the most haunted forests in the Cali region, it's located near San Diego, once home to the Native American tribes. It is also site of an abandoned Asana site. But the most common story people will hear is when gypsies were said to have lived there back in the 1800s they were chased out and even murdered by the town's people the remaining gypsies cursed the forest so hikers and visitors have reported sightings of ghostly women in white dresses and a spirit riding a white horse witchwood forest england this forest is known for apparitions of crying children in a horse-drawn carriage and a touch of a hand out of nowhere. Then there's a story of a ghost named Amy Rosebart. She was the wife of Earl of Leicester. She mysteriously died, though, of a broken neck. Her husband said that he had seen her ghost while he was out hunting in the forest one night. Supposedly, her ghost told him that he had 10 days to live hunting and after those 10 days, that man surely did die. So they say if you run into the ghost of Amy, beware, because you may have only 10 days left to live. Devil's Tramping Ground. Now this is located in North Carolina, Go Tar Heels. This forest holds a round of mysteries. There is a patch that nothing, nothing in this area will grow. Local legend states that this circle is where the devil does come out at night and he paces and he faints. Rumors claim that no human has ever been able to spend the night at the ground, but I do think there have been some brave people. One other rumor is that there have been sightings of UFO landings. And he paces and he faints. And he paces Black Forest, Germany. This forest was used in the Brothers Grimm film, Hansel and Gretel. Located in Southwest Germany, it is known to be home to werewolves and witches, honey. One cool fact or weird fact is that the people there are known for their carnivals. They love to dress up like witches, demons, and scary spirits. The Island of the Dolls. This forest is located in the canals of Mexico City. As we can see, it is definitely covered in creepy ass dolls. Local legend has it that the island caretaker hung the first doll there to honor a little girl that he had found drowned. He thought that the doll was her. The caretaker felt that he was being haunted by her spirit. I don't know why though. This is when he started putting up more dolls and more dolls to hopefully appease her spirit. Fifty years later, the island is full of dolls and he reportedly drowned in the same spot forest 
sits northwest of Fuji Mountain. Known as Suicide Forest or the Sea of Trees, it has been the site of many, many suicides dating all the way back to the mid 1900s. I wonder why that even started there. Um, there are reports of Greek mythology that the forest was associated or connected to demons. So this is where it got its reputation as far as what I guess could possibly have started people wanting to kill themselves there. Pine Barrens, New Jersey. During the colonial era, this area was bustling with sawmills, paper mills, and a town to accompany them. Soon the town was abandoned because coal was found in Pennsylvania, leaving this town a complete ghost town. This forest is also known to be home to the Jersey Devil, a beast with kangaroo-like features, a face of a horse, head of a dog with bat-like wings, horns, and a tail. Legend states this beast was the 13th child of a woman named Deborah Lee. She was known to be pregnant with this child in 1735 when she offered the child to the devil. Upon birth, the newborn sprouted talons and hooves and wings. Now, it's locally reported that he killed his mother and siblings before disappearing. Now, why did she give him up? Was she like forced I wanted to give him up to the devil? Sort of like Rosemary's baby? People still today even say they still see the Jersey Devil. <laughs> 